Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP Legal Support. One of our subscriber mentioned something in the comment about the SQVI transaction code. So they are getting no data when they form the query in SQVI. Okay, see that SQVI. Okay, so before going to understand how we can use this report, let me tell you the few basic things about this report. Okay, SQVI is a simple and user-friendly transaction. And this transaction can help us to create some basic reports. Suppose if you want to retrieve some data from different tables like uh, order, delivery, invoice, so I want to get the data from VBAK table, VBAP table, LIKP table, LIPS table, and VBRK table, VBRP table, right? So manually, what we will do basically, we'll go to the table, each and every table. First, we'll go to VBAK, then retrieve all the data and export it to some Excel sheet. Then we'll go to VBAP, do the same thing. Similarly, we'll do it for all the tables, one by one. But it's time consuming. We can't download data from each and every table. And after downloading the data, what we will do basically, we will try to match that. Which order relevant for which delivery and which delivery relevant for which invoice. So we are trying to map it from order to tell invoice. And it will require a lot of manual efforts to prepare that report in Excel sheet, right? To avoid that, SAP provided one report that is SQVI. Remember the stick code that is SQVI. So with the help of this uh, T code, we can develop some basic reports. The few advantages of using this report is that, is it a graphical user interface? And we have limited options to develop somewhat complex reports. And we can apply joins on a joint condition on different multiple tables. And we can do some calculation also. And we can download the data to Excel sheet or whichever format. Yes, let's get started. Suppose I'm going to retrieve the data of the invoice. I want to see what is the delivery for that invoice and what is the order for that invoice. So I want to retrieve these three information. Okay. Okay. Let me create one report now. So give some uh, Z, Z name. Okay. So we are going to develop a Z report, right? Give some Z name. Starting with Z or Y. Okay. Z test three. And now click create. So we are going to create a new one. So let's click create. And here we need to again give the title. So again, we can give the same thing. G test three. The QQ name as well as title, both are same, no problem at all. And here, the data source should be table join. Select the second option. As we are going to retrieve the data from multiple tables. Okay. And uh, it's a basic mode and less layout mode. In the basis mode, it's nothing but it's in a list view. So there is no, I will tell you. So let me tell you what this is, what I mean, list view means. I'm going to SC16 in transaction code, VBAK table, and if execute now. You see, the data what we see in SE16 in T code, it is an ALV view. It's a ALV. ALV means, it's ALV is a terminology in ABAP. ALV means ABAP list viewer. Okay. Suppose if I want to see the same information in SC11 transaction code as well. In SE11, again, I'm going to give VBAK display. And uh, you see this icon contents. Click this one. And if I execute, you see the difference now. You see here is a list, it's a list view. It's a ALV view. In list view, 
we have limited functionalities only the functionalities in the sense see here in uh, above list view we can uh, apply the sum apply the sum on this net value column see if you click this one it will display total see total is coming here right and uh, similar way we can export the data to different formats local file word processing spreadsheet html anything we can do and we can apply some uh, graphics bar chart pie chart something we can do right so we have several options here but if you see in the list view the view also is not pleasant for, pleasant for us this one is looks good this one is uh, not that much looks good right so that's what the advantages here so it's a alv view is a list view and in a sqvi also that's what it's it's referring here basis means list, list view layout means here we have several options it's a alv view okay click okay now fine so now let's add the tables from which we are going to retrieve the data you see there is a one icon insert table click this one so first table is vbrk so i want to retrieve the invoices prerequisite data preceding data so invoice has sometimes it has delivery sometimes it might have only order right so i'm trying to retrieve delivery order for those invoice we we'll select vbrk and click okay next table i'm going to get is vbrp select this one again add vbrp and click okay see by default system the standard system what it will do it will try to map it see the field name is same in both vbrk vbrp the vbln is an billing document number field the field is same that's why it's mapping by default fine this is correct only let it be because uh, the primary key in both tables is the the common is between these two tables is invoice number so we'll get this one it's fine now now let's add likp table now likp in likp also the it is again mapping to vbrp to vbln only but that is wrong right in likp vbln is delivery number vbrk vbrp vbln is invoice number that's fine its mapping is correct standard mapping is correct but here standard mapping is wrong so what we need to do just select this one and right click delete it delete link yeah. now we need to map it how to map it if i in vbrp table there is a field called vgbel let me scroll down let me show you that so vgbel is nothing but delivery document number so let me map it so vgbel so i want to give so this is the delivery number for that item right in vbrp table level only we see the reference delivery number and reference order number in vgbl we can get delivery number vg pass is a delivery item number and aubel is an order number au pass is item number so what i will do i will map vbrp vgbl to likp vbln okay just drag it here like this so no mapping has been done so now what we are doing we are passing vbrk billing document number to vbrp billing document number field then we are passing vbrp delivery number to likp delivery number okay now i can add vbak as well now we let me add lips also lips so now this is fine so because delivery number delivery number is fine pass number is also fine so what we can do we see vg pass nothing but delivery item number so what i will do i will map this field to this lips pass number you see the mapping has been done now now add i will add vbak now vbak so vbak also the source here is that vbrp aubel what i will do first i will delete this select this and right click delete link now copy aubel and drag it to vbln vbak table 
Uh, now that is done. Now let me add one more table. This time I will add as VBAP. Yeah, so VBAP order number is fine. This is correct only. Okay, passner what I will do? I will get it from here only. Yeah, you pass, drag it to here. Yeah, see, now I have done the mapping. So this is a joint condition. So we need to apply joint condition correctly. If you don't apply this, then it we don't get the result what we expected. Okay, now mapping has been done. Now let's go back, click back. Okay, so now we see here, now we see here all the tables. Now we need to, and you see here, these are the tables, okay? And these are the list field and the selection field. So what is list field? What is selection field? Selection field is nothing but the input field. For example, let me open one more P code, one more report. Okay, let me open with report V.02. It's incomplete log report. Okay, so whatever field we see here is selection field. We need to input some selection data here, then execute. This is selection field. And if you execute, it will display some data, right? That is a list data. So that's the meaning here. So this is an input data, it's an output data. So my input should be billing document. Billing type is my input. I will give this as input, then I will get the data. And the output, what I will do? Again, output also I will give billing document, billing type, right? And sales are distribution channel now what i will do so i need this four information from vbrkf as a result is a result data selection i will be having only two only now i will go to vbrp vbrp also will give billing document billing item and uh, if you scroll down you see aubel somewhere That's okay. So okay, fine. So what I will do now, I will go to SD document field. It's an LIKP table. Okay, see LIKP table. Sell delivery number. And again, go to delivery item table, LIPS table. Again, delivery, delivery item. Again, go to VBAK now. Select order number. Go to VBAP. Select item number only. And order number also, we can select no problem at all. Right, so we have selected totally 12 fields as a output field from all these tables and two are selection field. So now I will execute this one, execute. Click execute. Click OK. I'm getting some warning message. It's a warning only, just click OK. So, when you click execute the system generating the program in the background let it generate let it open for open it you see i have selected two fields now billing document and billing type if you execute i will get all the data and it's asking how many entries that i would like to display make it as 100 only click ok yeah you see here i can see billing document number billing type sales are so this is the list data list means output selection means selection screen data so i'm getting the billing document number and uh, delivery number and delivery number so this is likp this is lips and this is the invoice number invoice item number delivery number delivery item number and sales document number sales document item number if you want to cross check whether the data is correct or not what i will do i will open this delivery invoice now go to vf03 Open this daily invoice, stall to write. Okay, so this invoice first items data. This invoice item number is 10. Invoice number item number 10, delivery number is 77818. You see 77818, and uh, this is for delivery item number 10. So, delivery item number 10, 
and sales document number is 20261 yeah same thing here and item number is 10 item number is 10 right and in a way we can uh, export the data also see if you click this i export icon local file and you can export excel sheet or any other format and if you want to display in different sequence we can select that and let me show you one more thing in vbrp table also to make a better understanding vbrp give the billing document number and select everything select vbln and fastener and uh, search vgbl vg bel it's a delivery document field delivery number delivery item number sales order number sales order item number so remember these technical field names this field names will be very helpful if you write the fs logics okay and if you click execute see same thing what we see here invoice number delivery number everything's matching correct so this is how we should use this sqvi we still we have so many options are here but still this is the basic thing if you know these basic things they can then you can explore even more okay uh, that's it about this video if you like my work please do share it with your friends subscribe to my channel which will be motivate me to do my work even better thanks everyone we will meet in the next video